Hello everyone, we're going to take some notes on sound today. So, set up our Cornell notes. We've got a line along the side and two across the top. And then our side up here where we put our name and the date. And it is three, and I think it's going to be 27, 21. Okay, so top, we're going to have sound. And our essential question is, hmm, how do we hear? Or what makes sound? What makes sound? Let's do that. Question mark. All right, so certain things make up sound, and the first one we're going to talk about is frequency. So frequency is our first word. That's it. Okay, so frequency is the number of wavelengths that pass a given point in one second. So the number of wavelengths that pass a given point in one second. So we're going to measure this in hertz. And we can abbreviate that with an HZ. Okay, so frequency, we're going to draw a quick picture. So we've got two different kinds of waves, or two different waves, I should say. So we've got, so that's one wavelength. And that is three wavelengths. Because if I start from here to here, that's one. That's my another start. That's two. And from here to here is three. So that's one wavelength. Uh, but let's say this took one whole second. And this also took one second. So my frequency here is one hertz and my frequency here is three hertz and so we're assuming this all happened in one second so like this happened in one second and this happened in one second so it doesn't matter how tall it is or anything like that it's all about how many waves complete in one second Okay, so now the next thing we're going to talk about is wave speed. And we're going to measure that in meters per second. Let's actually just write our equation. So that's going to equal frequency times wavelength. And there's a magic triangle that goes along with this. We have our velocity, our frequency, and the upside down y. And it's called lambda, but that's our wavelength. So if I rewrite this even a little bit, we have velocity is equal to waves per second times meters. 
So my meters is wavelength, my wave speed or waves per second is my frequency, and my velocity is my meters per second, my wave speed. All right. So if I were to do an example, if I have a frequency of 500 hertz and a wavelength equal to 3 meters, then my speed is going to equal what? So if I put it in my magic triangle, my frequency is here, so I put 500. My wavelength is here, so I put 3 there. And if they're next to each other, I multiply. So I'll put a little x there for multiplication. So then my v is equal to 1500 and I look at my label up here it's meters per second so that's my answer alright so now with sound we have frequency we've got wave speed wavelength all that stuff but another thing that we can talk about is decibels and you guys have probably heard of decibels it's how loud a sound is and we label that with a lowercase d and a capital B. Just a little weird. Oops. So that's supposed to be just a dash, not equal sign. Whatever. Um, it's just how loud a sound is. It's how loud it is. And uh, the pain threshold, so where it starts to hurt immediately, um, so let's just put here, pain is going to start around 125 decibels. Now it's different for everyone, uh, but that's typically where it would start. And we've got some examples. Um, so normal quiet room is going to be around 40 decibels. Um, a lawnmower. is going to be around 90 decibels and let's get into something really loud um, let's go with your headphones at peak volume is 115 decibels. Now, if we mow the lawn for a certain amount of time, that actually can cause ear damage. And uh, around two hours of mowing your lawn uh, can actually, or over two hours. So if you have really large lawns and stuff, uh, headphones at 115 you can listen to that about 30, 30 seconds after 30 seconds you're gonna have hearing damage so it's uh, your ears are honestly pretty sensitive and can be damaged very easily so it's something that you definitely need to protect Anyway, uh, so this is our notes on sound we're gonna definitely do some more work with these problems for wave speed, frequency, and wavelength, um, and using this magic triangle. 
So keep that in mind. Remember from our last magic triangles, if they're next to each other, you multiply. And if they're above each other, you divide. All right, see you guys.